Hello everyone, Jeff here from Knots Made Easy, and today we're going to take a look at even yet another variation on the bowline knot. And if you've taken my Knots Made Easy course, and you'll find information about that down in the uh, information section below this video, you've already seen quite a few variations on this knot. Now it's a really great knot, it's a really, uh, creates a very secure loop in the end of a rope. There is a video on how to tie the bowl in here on my channel, so I'm going to assume that you are already somewhat familiar with the bowl in, um, or else you might be a little bit lost in this, so please go back and look at that if you're not. So what you see here is a bowl in just tied around a pole. I'll do a quick review of the bowl in here, very quick, as well as the technique that I showed uh, uh, in my course, and then we'll look at uh, another way to accomplish this same task. So, as to the bowlin, we create a loop like this, take the tail end, run it up through the hole, back around the standing end, back down, and there is our bowlin knot like this. So to tie it around the pole, we have a couple of choices. One is to start the bowlin, as I just did, Take the tail end, just loop it around like this, and finish tying off the bowlin. Like so. Now that's certainly a valid approach, but let's look at another possibility. So I'm gonna just start with uh, out any loops in the rope, and I'll just take the working end and loop it around the pole like this. So I've got the tail end and the standing end parallel to each other. Now I'm just going to tie a knot that, even if you haven't taken my course, is going to look really familiar, and it's the overhand knot. So we're just going to turn an overhand knot into a bowline. So I'm going to take the working end and I'll just lay it over top of the standing end, so it's important that it's over top, loop it around, and there's my overhand knot. Now I'm just going to take this tail end, which is in my left hand, and I'm going to pull it towards me, and as I do, you'll see that I automatically get this loop in the standing end. And that's exactly what I want. And this is really uh, the pattern that should be familiar to you if you're comfortable tying the bowline. And if you remember when we started this knot, I said that our working end is on the right hand side. And you'll notice that it still is on the right hand side and it's important that we do this. Don't try to flip this over and get it to work. Uh, it's going to be a little confusing for you. And I'll tie this from the other direction so you can uh, just see the difference or if you're you know, left or right handed, one may be uh, uh, better for you than the other. But now that I have uh, this pattern, I have this loop and I have my standing or my working end coming up through it, I just need to finish the bowline by taking the working end going underneath the standing end, coming back up and going through that loop, and there is my bowline. Well, let's try that again one more time at a little more normal speed. Working end in my right hand, I'm gonna make an overhand knot by crossing over top the standing end, and I'm gonna pull on that tail end towards me. Automatically, that loop will form. I'll finish off the knot by going underneath, and then through, and there is my bowline. Now let's try this from the other side. So I'm still gonna use the same pattern, but this time, I'll, rather than having my tail end on the right-hand side, I'm just gonna move it over to the left-hand side, but the pattern's gonna be exactly the same. I'm going to cross over so that my tail end goes on top of the standing end right here. Create an overhand knot just like this. Pull this end, the working end or tail end, towards me. And as I do that, I automatically get this loop. Now, I want to make sure that, I remember I started with my tail end on the left hand side, so I want to make sure that when that loop is created, I don't end up over here. I want this to stay on the left hand side. And then from here, I just loop underneath the standing end, loop it through, and there is my bowline. Now, I didn't spend a lot of time talking about uh, you know, how to tie this end off, uh, how to make it more secure, depending on what you're doing with this knot. 
If it's something that uh, you know someone's life may depend on, or a, you know some property, or there's a safety issue, you'll want to learn how to tie this end off, and you can learn about that in my course. Again, the uh, the link is down below, so uh, please take a look, and uh, don't forget to check out some of the other knots that are here on my channel, and of course subscribe. So I hope that was of interest to you guys. Uh, please leave uh, any comments that you have or any questions, and I will take a look at those and uh, look forward to seeing you when we talk about another knot.